In my time of playtesting custom maps for CSGO and now CS2, I have seen my fair share of maps that were made with lack of understanding of Counter-Strike's base design concepts. In this video, I'll go through some seemingly basic concepts, but even for someone who's a bit more experienced in designing competitive 5v5 diffuse maps, you might find this video useful. Last thing I want to do is the gatekeep level design. I wish that this video can accomplish the exact opposite and serve as a checklist of things to go through and aid you in your map making endeavors. Disclaimer. Playtesting will show you unexpected nuances in your design. Never take anything as face value when you're designing. Things more or less never turn out how you expected them to with CS map making. This is DE Dust 2. If you have ever played Counter Strike, chances are that you already know this map pretty well. In my opinion, Dust 2's layout has the minimal requirement of complexity for entertaining competitive 5v5 defuse gameplay. We haven't seen a simpler map after its release in the competitive scene. Let that speak for itself. This is the reason I'm using D Dust 2 as the basis for this video as any other map which is complicated explaining. This way makes everyone's life a bit easier. Let's get to the basics. In the Fuse game mode, your goal as a terrorist is to take the bomb site in under 2 minutes and plant the bomb and defend the bomb for 40 seconds before it blows up. As counter terrorist, your goal is to defend the bomb site and defuse the bomb if it's planted before it blows up. From the round start, the timings allow CTs to get both bomb sites under their control to set up and defend, among some map space in the connecting areas to the bomb sites. In some maps, also the middle control is fully given to the CTs. Mid or middle means an area apart from the main T slash CT connections that connects the bomb sites that players can move in between. Moving between bomb sites is called rotating. As a counter terrorist, your job is to counter the strike, defend off any terrorist attacks and to limit the terrorist movement. The less map that you have to cover, the easier your job will be later in the round. CS maps are designed in ways that they offer obvious bottlenecks or choke points to hold the terrorist push from. Quick point about choke points. Look at the middle of D Anubis. Losing this middle bridge area CT means that terrorists have now two points of attack to utilize. On D Ancient, the same dynamic works in the exact opposite way of terrorists having two entrances to the B-bomb side. With CT aggression, you can now limit the entrance into just one choke point. Less choke points means more defenders per choke point equals easier to defend. As a terrorist, your job is to manipulate CT's positioning. Taking the bomb side becomes increasingly easier the less defenders there are. You can manipulate CTs in few different ways, making them believe that you are taking the other bomb side than you really intend with utility or sending few players to attack. This is called faking. You can also cut off the counter terrorist rotation with controlling the map so that they never get to the bomb site to defend. This is called controlling rotations. I believe that a broken or unviable rotation design is the one thing that makes or breaks your map. You might not realize it from playing a couple rounds, but you can certainly feel this awful feeling of getting stuck in a certain area when playing. The map would probably benefit from some sort of a connector between here and here so that you can just rotate away if the gaming gets a little bit too spicy over here. It's vital that your team maintains control over different positions in the map to make calculated decisions to defend or attack in the most efficient way. This is called map control. When you're designing your own map, it's vital to understand these dynamics. The more you acknowledge these things and keep them in mind when designing, the more you can learn to iterate on the design. You must first know the rules to break them. One tower, one tower, one tower. Oh, you say, you say oh, very oh, so oh, funny. Oh, oh, oh. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Buddy, buddy. We have a new bomb rush. Pretty good.